Hey there, welcome back. So still not super glamorous, but today we're gonna to be taking a look at refiguring our counter um, variable so that they run through the game manager instead of running through the grid. So let's get started. Getting right into it, today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to set up our counter uh, information on our top UI through the game manager instead of doing it all through the grid. So let's jump right in. So we already have part of this setup from last time. If we look at our game manager, we have our signals for score info and set dimension, but we didn't actually use our set counter info. So let's send that signal now too as well. So init signal set counter info. And then we want to send out whatever the current counter value is, because that's all it really needs to know is the current counter. We also, at the very beginning, we want to set our counter value to be equal to the max counter. So current counter is equal to the max counter. All right, cool. Now, if I save this, jump over to my top UI. Um, on game manager set counter info, which I hooked up last time, this is only going to get the current counter. And all this needs to do is just grab that um, counter label and set the text component of it to be equal to the string that is the current counter. That's all it needs to do. We don't need to use this on grid set max counter anymore, which is nice. Uh, we don't need to do this. The goals, we're, we're coming for the goals, don't worry. We don't need to set the max score. Um, we're coming for the make goals. We don't need to set up the score bar anymore. Um, and we don't need the on grid update counter. So none of that logic is gonna be held in here. In fact, this doesn't even need to know the max counter or the current count or the current score. Uh, it doesn't need to know the current level. I think I can get rid of this okay without breaking anything right away. So it's, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't like doing that. So I'm just gonna add a little pass statement here and let's get rid of that. Okay, so this is gonna be significantly simpler. Um, now, if I go to my game manager here, I'm sending that out. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna leave everything alone and we should see the counter turn to 37, but we don't have it set up. Oh, haha, <laughs> I just talked about this too. So because the ready, it's called in the game manager before the top UI, it doesn't know what um, the counter label is, even though we already have the um, max counter set. So what we need to do, actually, let's make sure that's what the issue is. Current counter equals max counter. Yep, that is what the issue is. So let's go to our top UI here and let's check to see if the counter label hasn't been assigned yet. So if not, counter label, counter label is equal to dollar sign, all that stuff to get to the counter label. All right, let's try it now. There we go, it's 37. But none of this works because I'll finish this move here and it won't move down. So let's fix that really quickly here. Now, my grid right now holds all the information for the counter stuff and it, it shouldn't. It should have the update counter signal. It should have none of this current counter value. It shouldn't know if it's moves and it shouldn't have the game over or the set max counter. So let's get rid of all of these. And instead of deleting it, I'm a little leery, so I'm gonna just comment them out. All right, now by doing that, some stuff should break right away. So this signal, we don't need to do that here. We don't need to do that in the grid at all. We don't need to do this. And we don't need to do this. So let's just get rid of this. And I'm even gonna get rid of that timer that's on the grid. Not the shuffle or the hint timer, just the plain timer, which for some reason I never renamed. Okay. And let's see what else we broke. I think 
after refill is the next place where something is broken but let's find out so I'm not just guessing or using my admittedly poor memory to uh, hey look at that it's after refill so I'm gonna comment out this whole section down to hint timer start and I'm also going to pull out the signal to update the counter and I'm also going to pull out the state equal to move now we're gonna have to fix this by having the game manager control the game win and game lose conditions um, we're gonna have some issues too from the uh, boosters a little further down yep so I'm going to just comment out all of it except for state equals move in this one and then I can just get rid of that print current counter value and then I think there's one more place yep and I can get rid of this timer since I deleted that timer all right cool so I'm gonna save this now what I want to happen is I want my grid so I'm gonna go to my node my update counter, I'm going to disconnect that from the top UI and I'm going to connect it to the game manager. And in the game manager, when the grid tells it to update counter, it's going to check to see if it's moves. So if it is moves, then it's going to current counter minus equals one and it's going to emit the signal to update the counter info. So I'm just going to grab this line, copy paste okay so if it's moves then it should update itself let's save this let's hit play okay so and there we go now I want to put an extra check in here to make sure the counter doesn't go below zero so if current counter is less than zero current counter is equal to zero all right, cool. Now, we need to do it for time, too, because we could have a game that's based on time. So for my game manager, I'm going to add a new child node. This is going to be a timer. And this time, I'm actually going to name it so I know what the heck it is. We're going to call this the move timer. Uh, I don't want it to be, I don't want to mess with any of this stuff, but I do want to go to the node and connect the timeout to the game manager itself. And on timer timeout, we're gonna to check to see if it's not a moves game. So if not is moves, then I'm just going to copy all of this stuff here. So copy, paste. All right, cool. Now the other thing I need to do is start the timer. So inside the setup, I'm gonna say if not is moves, uh, dollar sign move timer dot start cool so let's go to our game manager here um, let's make this a not moves game and let's hit play and there we go cool so next we have to deal with our uh, game win and game lose to kind of rejigger that which actually isn't as complicated as it seems like it should be I want to jump back to my top UI really quickly here. Uh, and then we also need to refigure the goals. Yeah. So, I mean, already this is getting simpler. Our game manager is this mm -hmm. thing that was created. And it's, I mean, it's adding an extra node. But the uh, I don't think the logic in it is too difficult. And then the other nodes are also pretty simple. So we should be pretty good. Um, all right, cool. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below. You can join my Twitter or my Discord to ask any questions as well. Um, a couple quick shout outs. Uh, I said this last time, but I'll say it again. PigDev on YouTube is pretty awesome. He puts out some really good content, especially about design patterns and programming theory. Um, pretty Seems like a pretty cool guy. He does a lot of work with Nathan Lovato. GD Quest, who is also really good. I'll put links to both of them in the description. Uh, shout out to my mods on my Discord, Faker and Sir Psycho. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. 
And if you want to, feel free to give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you do so, YouTube will start showing you more stuff like my channel. So, yeah. I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day.